Hi, this is Dave with the Beller Company. I'm going to show you uh, a few test procedures we do here with the electronic air cleaners. And so here I have a, a power box just sitting on top of the cells. And it'll work that way. Here I have jumpered the, the safety switch for the door. So that, that's on all the time, otherwise you have to have a door on for this power box to power up. And I've also jumpered the airflow sensor. And this is one way of jumpering the airflow sensor is by taping the, taking the top of that resistor there on the airflow sensor. That's an airflow sensor right there. And grounding it. So this is sitting on top of the cells. You see the contacts underneath here are going to line up with the cell contacts. Put it down just right. And for ground, I've got wires connected just to be on the, the safe side, make sure we have a solid ground. But I think the uh, other connectors are pretty good there. And we'll turn this on. It'll probably spark a little bit when I first turn it on. Centered. And the indicator light is on. And so uh, this is powered up now. And so if I wanted to test it, I've got my trusty little high voltage probe. Connect, connect this to a chassis ground. And here we're going to see about uh, 4,000 volts on this terminal here. It's about 4,400. And that's with it connected up to the cells. It would be different with it not connected up to the cells. And this we're going to see about 8,000. There's about 8,000 in the probe. And so that's, that's one way to test the electronic air cleaner. The other way to test it, and geez, I've been doing this uh, since the 1960s. My dad would have me working on this stuff. And, uh, different design back then, but kind of the same principle. And you just take a screwdriver and keeping the, the shank of the screwdriver against the ground would bring it up. And all you have to do is bring it close. And, you know, and so that's what you'd want to see. If you would test yours and you saw a spark a lot weaker than that, then you'd, uh, you might want to start looking at, at there being a problem. You move the cells and stuff and see if that doesn't help. You'll also see when I short out the... Uh, let short this out. The light goes out here. The indicator light. The light going out there. Now this is the the collector voltage. This is eight thousand. This is four thousand. But it's got quite a bit of zap when it's connected up to the cells because the cells act like a capacitor or a, or a storage tank for the electricity. And again, just move this back. And that's what you get not as big of a knock, it's only 4,000, but it's, it's got a bit of zap to it. But that's only because it's connected up to the cell plates. And so that's how we test the uh, power box. Now if we wanted to make sure the power is getting to the cells, we go down here, again with the organizing wire. So yep, the same voltage. You're getting on one cell, you're getting on. You get on one wire, you get on get one ball. And you also have the plate voltage in here. And that's got plenty of spark. And that's, uh, that's about uh, what there is to testing the, the power box for a good amount of voltage. Check out our website at electronicaircleaners.com.